he said he was bouncing up and down and trying to yell for me, um, but I didn't come. Nobody could hear him yelling. Tonight at 6, a mother recalls a horrifying moment and wants to make sure other parents don't have to go through the same thing. Yeah, in fact, her son nearly drowned in the pool, and that pool was full of people inside. And as she told our Kevin Rader today, this can happen even when adults are nearby. My son drowned three days ago. As a reader, it's a Facebook post that puts a chill down your spine. I don't know if I can say But just imagine what it felt like to be the mother who typed it. I don't know if I can say it. He got in the shallow end. I felt safe. There was other adults there, but they don't know his swimming ability. That's, that's my, I should not have made that mistake. Oh, the mother of five had two other children with her. She got them situated, put her things down. I saw his shirt and I thought, oh my gosh, that is Adam. Adam got in in his shirt. And so then that's just, I started screaming. He was face down in the pool. I remember looking at him and knowing he was already gone. Uh, my friend Kristen ran over and immediately started CPR when he kind of flickered his eyes. And I kind of noticed a little bit of a, of a breath in his chest. And I checked his pulse. And I, I will never forget that on my fingers. I'm so thankful for you. So now the lifelong friend who just happened to be a nurse and was also a bridesmaid in her wedding was so much more. He's going to forever, ever, ever have a piece of my heart. And we're going to have this strong connection. He's going to be my buddy forever, for sure. There isn't the right word to say. Thankful's not enough. Overjoyed isn't enough. There's not, there's not an adequate word to say how I feel that he's still here. And fine. He's fine. He is fine. Adam is a typical five-year-old on Thursday, a little bored with all the attention and more than a little hungry. Maybe this happened for a reason to help drowning awareness, to help CPR awareness, and he still gets to be here with us. By the way, remember Mary Beth's Facebook post? You'll like the ending. Adam Jeffrey Leeson, born 3-15-14. Adam Jeffrey Leeson, saved 7-20-19. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. So happy that oh that was the case. Oh my goodness, so glad Adam's mm -hmm. okay. Drowning, though, is one of the biggest summertime risks for children. The CDC says this is the second leading cause of death for kids between the age of one and four. So here's what you need to do. Never leave your kids alone in or near the water. Keep a close eye on them. Make sure there's proper fencing around pools so kids cannot fall in. Teach your child how to swim and consider learning CPR just in case.